Alrighty, so I have quite the big, massive, unexpected construction update to drop on you guys today. And it is not massive, big, and epic in the ways that you guys are expecting. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will get to that about halfway through this video. Um, now, I did want to show you um, a couple of things on the construction site that they have moved forward with. It looks like they've moved forward with a lot of areas on the coaster that maybe would have been a little later on during the construction project. Uh, but there is definitely something going on in the tunnel area, and you will see that firsthand in this video. Um, again, anything discussed in this video is rumors and speculation. We do not have any inside information about what's going on. Um, we are simply just reporting on what we're seeing today and from what we were kind of seeing in our drone footage. So anything we discuss is not proven until a park makes an announcement on it. Um, but yes, we are definitely going to discuss what we were seeing in the tunnel area a little later on, but we'll get to that a little bit. Um, so as you can see, a lot of the little details are being added to the coaster. Um, so they're definitely focusing on a lot of the, uh, the aesthetics, uh, and the railings and the catwalks and the electrical for the station area and the lift hill as there hasn't been, um, any action in terms of vertical construction. So as you know, vertical construction has been delayed for about a week and a half now. Um, there has been very little construction in terms of vertical. In fact, the only vertical construction that has taken place is assembling the drop pieces together and getting a lot of the pieces ready. Um, I can also confirm that there has been zero shipments from BM Factory to Canada's Wonderland in about a week and a half. There is no new track, no new supports in the storage area. The storage area is actually looking very bare. You would have known that already if you were watching our drone construction updates over the week. We did one. It's very bare. There's nothing new, nothing new coming in. And that to me definitely signals that there's some sort of, let's use the word delay. There's definitely a delay going on. And as you'll see a little later, we can pretty much confirm that. So the left hill has been um, definitely getting, from what I can tell, the details added in. So as you can see, the railings are installed on the catwalks. They look like they're installing some electrical that could be lighting. Um, they were definitely doing that uh, the day I flew my drone. I could see them installing something along the lift. And they're definitely doing a lot of the electrical on the brake run and station area from what I can tell. Hartwell is on site in uh, the masses. They have a massive team there and they are working on that. Um, so let's, I guess, dive right into this. So um, you'll notice that the track piece for the drop into the tunnel is suddenly being supported by wood structures like you see in the background for a piece of wood that is not connected to a footing. Interesting, right? Very interesting. So um, from what we are gathering and from what we are seeing, and you'll see this in the footage, there's been some concrete removal in the tunnel. In fact, it looks like there's been quite the concrete removal on the drop side of the tunnel. Um, as we thought we saw on the drone footage the one day, uh, them digging up a little bit of the footer for that first little bit of the drop. This is alarming um, in terms of timing for the, the project. So as you can see there, there's the footer or the footing, sorry. I keep using the word footer, it's just habit. The correct term is footing. So for the footing, for the drop side, it has been ripped out and the track piece over there is sitting on wood. And my guess is they have to re-pour the footing um, and then let it cure. And curing for a lot of the footing, especially for a high stress area like that, could be up to 28 days, like we originally discussed when they were pouring footings for the coaster way back in the day. Now, uh, this does set the project back. Um, and again, I do not know anything about the timing of the project other than that, you know, the goal was to have it done by January, uh, February, you know, and testing in March and, you know, all that typical timeline for coasters at Canada's Wonderland. Um, and so it, it's not end of the world. From what I've heard, the coaster project was somewhat ahead of schedule a bit. Um, so hopefully the 28 days, up to 28 days, I should say, again, this is all speculation, doesn't set them back too far. Um, they do, from what I'm predicting, have to wait for that footing to cure before they can install the drop because the drop is going to rely on a lot of that um, that footing there for the entrance into the tunnel as support. Now in the, the footage here, if you look down there on the left side of the tunnel, you can see rebarb and you can see a lot of uh, concrete and dirt dug up just in the top corner there. I think there will be a better, a little better of a shot. 
I tried to get. Um, it shows some of the concrete removed and the um, there's some rebar down there as well. There's definitely a lot going on down in the tunnel that wasn't planned for. Um, again, as I said in my previous video, when I tried to like kind of let you guys know what we saw in our drone footage, but we didn't want to fully confirm until we were in the park and saw is there's definitely going to be a delay on this project for vertical construction. So I'm using the word vertical construction. That's the only part of the delay there's going to be. And vertical construction can, um, so as you can see here, there's a little bit of a better shot. You can see the concrete dug up there. I, it was very hard to get a shot of that, so you had to have a quick eye there. You can see the concrete has been dug up for that footing, um, and it's being re-poured. Now, again, as I said in my previous videos, I was just trying to get to, this isn't uncommon. Um, Again, if they start falling behind, Wonderland can hire more construction workers. They can hire a bigger crew to install the project. They can bring in more cranes if they need to, to you know, just a larger team. There's always a lot um, the park or chain um, or project managers can do to speed up the process. So again, this isn't end all for Yukon Striker. <laughs> the Ghost Air is probably most likely going to open on time still. Um, and again, I do want to stress this is all speculation. Whenever I do a video like this, I'm just reporting what I see. I'm not a construction manager. I do not work at Wonderland, and Wonderland has not said anything on the matter. So um, I'm just reporting what we're seeing. But it looks like in terms of Rutherford Construction, the, the company that's responsible for, you know, the concrete and uh, the coaster project itself, they are moving along in other areas of the project. Um, so as you see, there's footing, well, rebar cages in the lake ready to pour for the footings. Um, there's a rebar cage on the land where I'm standing that's ready to pour. And then you have the track pieces that um, the uh, iron workers have assembled over there that are just going to be one to plug uh, once they're able to start uh, assembling the coaster again. So again, uh, nothing is confirmed, uh, but there is definitely evidence in front of us right here that would suggest that Yukon Striker is going to be delayed vertical construction wise um, it is unfortunate, um, but uh, I'll be able to tell. I'll be keeping an eye on it with my drone and we'll see what happens. So I'll go check on Monday. You know, I'll go every day to check to see if what's going on vertical construction wise. I'm assuming, though, that once they pour that footing, we'll have to wait 28 days still because um, that is, th there is a time period that concrete or cement needs to cure before you can start putting some weight on it. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Timberwolf definitely had some a little bit of interesting activity. I think that may just be off-season maintenance typical, but I filmed it just in case. Uh, there was definitely a lot of electrical equipment in that area. I don't know what they're doing with that. But over here um, on the, uh, <laughs> the vertical loop side of the project, things moved a little slow. Uh, nothing new, entirely new over here other than um, it looks like they're still getting that formations in place to dig out the area for the vertical loop. Um, so still lots of work that needs to be done in this area. It didn't look like anything new from the naked eye had taken place, but I obviously know on the construction team there's probably been a lot of work done. Um, it probably takes a lot just to hammer in those... Um, formations to dig out the area they need to dig out and then they'll probably pour you know the cement and concrete um, back there you can see them getting ready to dig and drill for some footings for Yukon Striker so construction has definitely moved into this area there's lots of orange markings on the right side too for some of the trees and fencing there you can see the orange markings if you looked really closely on the fence so things are definitely going to be removed in this area and I expect this area is going to look totally different in 2019. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll keep an eye on what's going on with Yukon Striker in terms of if there's a delay or um, if they're going to start vertical construction again. Hopefully you like this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Comment down below what you think is going on um, and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.